And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to use the Perlin noise function. It's a different way to create noise but we can also use it for pattern design. But it's a good idea to create a new layer first, I'll call it noise. Don't worry too much about the color, I'll just make it white. The white is going to be replaced by our noise anyway. Make sure that you are on your new layer, so the noise layer in this case, it has to be active. Then go to filters, render, noise and as the Perlin noise function. The alpha, it makes it blurry or sharper. The scale, if you go down, you have bigger elements. If you go up, they're going to get smaller. You can offset it a little bit, so that changes the pattern. And finally, you've got the iterations. If you go up, you get more. If you go down, you get less. I'm going to keep it somewhat low. I want to use something like this. I confirm it. And if you want to use it as noise, change the blending mode up here. The screen works well in most cases. And then go down with the opacity. But as I've said, you can also use it for pattern design. Maybe you want to have an abstract background. Just increase the opacity to 100% and change the blending mode back to normal. And this is how you can use this Perlin noise function in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.